Newspapers, bottles, household items. Psst, manong boy! Wow! TV? Never mind! It's yours! Thank you, ma'am! Broken, spent, obsolete, and unwanted electronic and electrical products requiring disposal become e-waste or electronic waste. Under Republic Act 6969, Toxic Substances and Hazardous and Nuclear Waste Control Act, and DENR Administrative Order 2013-22, Revised Procedures and Standards for the Management of Hazardous Wastes, Waste Electrical and Electronic Equipment, or WE, includes e-waste containing hazardous components like lead, cadmium, mercury, hexavalent chromium, polybrominated biphenyls, or PBB, and polybrominated diphenyl ether, or PBDE. If improperly managed, such as through improper disposal, dismantling, or burning, can result in the release of harmful chemicals into the environment such as polybrominated diphenyl ether or PBDE. Once in the environment, PBDEs can enter the body of living things by way of inhalation of contaminated air. Sweet rice cakes for sale! Or by ingestion of contaminated food. Studies reveal that PBDE can also be found in breast milk of mothers exposed to the chemical. Bioaccumulative PBDE accumulates inside the body causing health effects. Scientific studies on health effects of PBDEs on laboratory animals yielded the following findings. Has effect on the thyroid and liver, kidney, the endocrine, reproductive, and immune systems. It can also possibly cause cancer. Changes in behavior was also observed. Weight loss and skin problems. PBDE can also possibly affect the fetus of an exposed mother. Ideally, e-waste should be returned to its manufacturers for proper management. Otherwise, these should be brought to designated drop-off or collection points. These will in turn be retrieved by duly accredited treatment, storage, and disposal facility. Thank you! Manong boy masipag, sir! Welcome, sir! Manong boy masipag! You did your community a great service. But why the sad face? I may be earning less than before. Is that so? What if you work in our company? But you need to undergo training first! The Persistent Organic Pollutant, PBDE, is one of the latest added to the list of POPs that needs to be eliminated worldwide in accordance to agreements under the Stockholm Convention on POPs.